All right, let's shift into create mode. And comedian Nicole Arbor has created a wave of controversy and outrage on Twitter. More than five and a half million people watched her YouTube video titled Dear Fat People. It's her comedic attempt at encouraging overweight people to lose weight. Take a listen. Fat shaming is not a thing. Fat people made that up. That's the race card with no race. Are you going to tell a doctor that they're being mean and fat shaming you when they say you have heart disease and if there's people watching this with a specific health condition this is not aimed at you i'm talking about the 35 percent of north americans who are obese i don't feel bad for you because you are taking your body for granted if you want to be positive to your body work out and eat well that's being positive to your body plus size stands for plus heart disease plus knee problems plus diabetes and i'm not saying all this to be an asshole. i'm saying this because your friends should be saying it to you well, Arbor went on ABC's The View to clear the air and address the entire controversy with the panel. That video was made to offend people. It's just satire. I'm just being silly. I'm just having a bit of fun. The whole thing was a joke. Right now, I am joined by that comedian, Nicole Arbor. Uh, Nicole, this video really struck a chord with a lot of people, uh, not yeah. in the best of ways, as I'm sure you've come to find out. Uh, with so many people offended, with you having lost your job, I just first want to I ask you... I didn't lose a job. You did not lose a job. No, okay, well, we'll that, get to that, but... Yeah, but gossip. More importantly, are you still not sorry about having made this video? I'm not sorry at all, and I never will be, because it was a joke. And it was voted on by fans on my Facebook page. I have fans who are of every single size, and they were saying, hey, this is the topic this week, they get to vote. They pick the topic, and that's what it was that week. Yeah, so, well, you're, but yeah. clearly your fans represent a small quotient of the number of people who have watched this video, with over 5 million people having viewed it. I want to read to you a, a tweet from Mitten Kittery that says, okay. if you have to explain that something is comedy, or like you say, that it is a joke, Maybe it actually isn't funny. Maybe it's just you being a bully. And clearly, your fans no. may have voted you to do this video, but there's a lot of people who took a tremendous amount of offense to what you did. What do you say to them? I think that's silly. You can't say it's a bully. I'm not bullying when you came to me. That's like going to a dominatrix and saying, ow, I didn't tell you to watch the video. You came to me, and if you heard via the propaganda-ish kind of headlines that you're not going to like it, and then you watch it, that's your fault. That's not my fault. So um, come. Okay, Nicole. Well, do you sympathize at least with or understand why it is that so many people who are overweight who may be struggling? And obviously, you've acknowledged that not all of those people are, are self-inflicted. There's a lot of medical conditions that could lead exactly. to things like that. But can you sympathize with the emotional response to something like that? No, I can't, unless none of those people have ever told a blonde joke. Rather, if they've told a joke about anybody else, then they're, they're game, you know what I mean? Like, everybody is fair game when it comes to comedy, and I, it was just a joke, so no one should be offended, and they have to choose to be offended. I think we should be teaching people to lighten up and take life a lot less seriously. Is this a situation where you feel like it's a slippery slope as a comedian? I mean, obviously, censorship yeah. tends to be a, a, a hot-button topic for them at times when they venture yeah. out into arenas that can be offensive, and, and you're drawing your line in the sand on account of that? 100%. Draw a line in the sand because being offended at everything is so in this season and it doesn't look good on anybody. I think we just need to relax. Donald Trump might be the president. T. Swift and Kanye West are new best friends. I think the apocalypse is coming and we all need to relax. All right. Well, I do want to uh, acknowledge that not everybody has been offended by what you're saying. I want to read a tweet to you from uh, Real Lights that says, Nicole Arbor owes no apology for her video. Toughen up. Our society is far too sensitive. Take that aggression to a treadmill. <laughs> so That's a pretty good one. Yeah, there's certainly those people who don't feel the same way. Nicole, I want to thank you for taking the time to come out here and discuss things with us. And best of luck to you moving forward. Hopefully you can sure. put this all behind you for better or for worse at some point in time and get back to doing what New you do. New video coming out today. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks, Nicole.